Welcome back to Simbright Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. So in this class, I'll be showing you how to make this cow kaftan with, with V yoke line, as you can see right there, looking gorgeous and beautiful. This cow kaftan can be used for so many things. You can use it for gorgeous occasion. It's really looking gorgeous and beautiful as you can see right there. So you can see the back looking nice and beautiful as well. All the gathers goes to the yoke line as you can see. So in this class, I'll be showing you how to sew this dress from beginning to the end. Okay. So if this is what you want to learn in this class, please stay tuned and watch to the end of this tutorial. Make sure you also subscribe, turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this each week. Like this video, share to family and friends, and drop your comment on the comment section. Thank you. So in this class, I'll be teaching you how to make uh, this beautiful cow kaftan with V yoke neckline. So for this kaftan, I'll be making use of um, my lace fabric. So this lace fabric is actually a sample lace and is a little bit stretchy. You can see that it's a little bit stretchy on one side. So the you can use so many fabric for this. You can use lace, lace fabric. You can use um, uh, scuba, lacra, you can even use silk, silk fabric for this. So these are the fabrics you can use to make this uh, cow kaftan dress. So I'm using four yards to make this, okay? So four yards is enough, four yards uh, to make it. And um, this lace I'm using is more than 60 inches by length. It has, and the yoke, I'm using half a yard of this. But I, what I have here is not really enough. I'll be using it for only the front part of the yoke. So I will use this um, dark door face fabric for the back part of the yoke. So if I'm cutting now, I want to cut everything using this. So you just need half a yard, half a yard to make this yoke both lining front and back. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is to start the cutting of the yoke. So to start off the cutting of this yoke, I'll just use this side of my fabric. So this is your half a yard. You'll be folding your half a yard by two this way. So once you fold it by two, you also fold it again. Okay? So I believe you understand what I mean. I really have a long length of doll face right here. But I just want to cut from it. So this is what I did. This is my, my half a yard. Okay, so half a yard is um, 18 inches. Okay, please one yard. Okay, to be at the safe side, make use of one yard. So it depends on how you are, if you are using half a yard, it will be enough, but it depends on how you you are folding it. If this is a half a yard um, and the length comes by 60, you can fold this way. Can you see? So the most important thing is that this is folded in four times. So I want you to note, I have one, two, three, and four. Okay, so half a yard is enough. You don't need one yard. It's too much. So, I've already folded it. And once I'm done uh, folding, I have my uh, center front and center back line. Okay, so just the normal way we make our dress, that is what we are replicating here. So, I will now come over to make my border line. So, this is my border line i'll just create it so what i will do now let me just cut off this excess i have here so i'll not be moving up and down with it all right so it's more defined right now 
so we can walk. So once you have folded, as you can see now, so next is to make, make sure you folded this part well. You can see I keep touching it to be sure it's well folded. So because I have both center back and then center front. So I'll just make my border line or my starting point. So from that border line, I'll take the measurement of my shoulder, my shoulder, I'm working with seven and a half. I'll add half an inch for stitching. My neckline, I'll be uh, uh, working with four inches for my neckline. So I have four inches and the depth of my neckline, I'm working with six and a half. So this is a V yoke neckline. So simply go ahead and do what? Connect with your straight ruler. Can you see? Next, I'll come down by one inch for my shoulder drop. From the neckline, I'll connect my shoulder drop. So what I have from here to here is four inches. And that four inches, that is what I'm going to transfer to all of this. Can see how I'm transferring it? I'll just transfer it there and make a straight connection to form that V yoke neckline. So that V neckline goes this way. Can you see? So it goes that way. So once you have transferred what you have here, four inches, four inches, four inches, once it gets here, just rule a straight line wherever you have it stopped. That is it. So we've already gotten that. So the next I'll do is to secure with my pins. You can even secure with your pins before you go ahead to work on this. Okay. So another thing I'm looking at, I'm looking at, you can just make a little from this point so you don't have that V too much because I'm looking at it uh, it's really very much at that point and that is not what I want so from here to here you can measure four inches and connect the V okay just connect the V so I'm going to cut now I'll just keep my hand and make the V that way as you can see then on the shoulder I'll add half an inch seam allowance okay for stitching I only did that for the shoulder and the neckline I'll just go straight to that six and half so once I take off my pattern now this is what I have can you see so this is what we have for the neckline. So what we have right here, I'm going to place it. This is my lining I just cut now. So this lining I cut now, I'll bring in my main fabric, which is going to serve as the yoke for the front. So I'll just pick one of it and place on my fabric, which I want to be the front piece this way. So I'll secure it with my pin and cut the two. So I placed it on fold. You can see I have double of feet, double of feet. So I'll cut right now. All right, people. So I've already cut it out now. Okay. So the green uh, part of feet, I want it to be the yoke for the front. While the dark, the black uh, door face is the um, will be the lining. Okay. So this is what you are expected to have, all your yoke lines, you can see four of it, two for front, two for back, I will work on them like this, okay? So right now you can see I've cut out the, uh, the fabric and the yoke, so this is what you are supposed to have, as you can see right here, okay? So the next thing we want to do now is to take the measurements of what we have i'm taking off these three so the next you do just pick up one of your yoke fold it at the center front line 
once you fold it at the center front line this is what you'll be having okay so this is the neckline and this is our shoulder line so from this shoulder line just place your tape and measure the length of this dress can you see so from here to here i have 12 and a half because i'm going to sew half an inch so i will take away the half an inch so i have 12 so if you measure from the tip of this point to the tip of this which is the length of the dress whatever you have take away half an inch for sewing so here i have 12 and a half and i've taken away i have 12 inches so now this constitutes the length of the dress because by the time we keep this right now our shoulder starts from here to this point before we have the cow part so i have 12 and a half as my measurement so my i'm working with length of 60 minus the 12 and a half right here uh, it will give me uh, 48 so i'm going to measure 48 inches right now as the length of my the remaining length of my dress so i want you to pay attention this is my four yards of uh, whatever fabric you are using so i'll just turn fold that four yards by two so if i fold it by two this is what i will have when i fold it by two then I'll fold it again by another two, okay? By another two. So, you are expected to have the one on fold, which is one and two, three and four, okay? So, that's what you need to have on your four yards. So, in other words, from this end to this end, should be giving you 36 inches. So, make sure you fold. So, now you can see I folded my fabric like I earlier demonstrated on the table. So, I have to bring it down here for you to understand very clearly what I'm doing. So, your fabric has to be folded four times so that at this edge, which is the hem, you'll be having 36 inches. Okay, if you are using four yards. So, remember our calculation from that yoke was. Um, 48. That is the remaining of it was 48 inches. So I just go up from the hem. We start from the hem. Go up and mark 48 inches. So this 48 inches, I will add one and a half to it. This one and a half will be for hemming and for stitching. So just add one and a half. And if you do that, you can see me marking my 49. My four. Uh, 49 and a half. So this is the yoke. So you know the measurement of the yoke we had. This is the continuation of it. So if I have to place this yoke from the center front like this, can you see? So that is why we have to take from here and minus before we get here. So the next thing we want to do now is to take the measurement of the part we are going to gather. So this is the part we are going to gather from this point to this point. Here I have 13 and a half. So this 13 and a half I have now, I'm going to, to multiply it by 2.5. So if I multiply 13 by 2, I'll have 26. Then I will, if I add half to it, I'll have about 33 or 35. So just do whatever figure you have, multiply by 2.5. So I'll be working with 35 or thereabouts. So now, the sleeve length, you are going to measure your sleeve length from here, from the center front line, center front center, uh, sorry, by the side line. I'll measure my sleeve, so I'm making use of sleeve, 18 inches, so I'll mark my 18 inches. So to cut the long story short, once you have gotten your sleeve length marked, just simply place your tape right here to this point and then cut. So I'm going to cut now. I just cut from that line, following my tape. So if you actually want the gathers to be much, you 
So we actually want to find by 2.5 or 3, just use 5 years or 6 years. So this is the part that is supposed to be sewn to this part. Can you see? So we are just going to gather this length about 12 feet to here, and at least it will give us a good gather. So that is how to go about this upper part of it. So the slip line will be at that point, as you can see right now. So what I'm going to do now is to open up, I'm going to open up the sides right now, because this part, I have it on fold. So since I have it on fold, I'll just open it up. shoulder line. I'm going to measure my hip. This is my hip at 29. I'll add 3 inches to it. 1, 2, 3. And I'm going to mark a straight line till I get to the center front. So the next thing I'm going to do is to measure my hip. My hip circumference I'm working with is 50. Divided by 4 is 12 and a half. I'll add 3 inches to it. One, two, three. So I'll measure from the center front 15 and a half. And I'll mark 15 and a half. From the center front 15 and a half. I'll add one inch seaming allowance, that is 16 and a half. So I'll take this 16 and a half and I'll mark it at the hem as well. So that 15 and a half from the center front on the hem line, 16 and a half, I'll mark, okay? So once I've marked that 16 and a half, I'll just rule a straight line. Okay, so this fabric is actually wobbling. So once I've gotten that 16 and a half now, all I'm going to do is to start cutting my cow from that point. I'll cut my cow from this point. I'll keep cutting it. Okay, so this is actually the part I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to mark. So I'll keep cutting it. I'll keep cutting it. Once before I get to that 16 and a half, I'll just make my cow shape. So of course you know how we usually go about our cow shape design. So I will connect it so you can see the cow shape design. So I'll just connect it straight to the shoulder. So this is exactly what um, your pattern is going to look like for this particular style we are making. So make sure you place notches at the center front and center back line. So we'll go over to the machine now to join them together. All right, so we are back to the table. So this is the part I say you need to identify. Of course, it's actually V. V in shape. Okay, so you might just leave it without a notch. We know that part is the part we start joining. So I'll set the cow piece aside and we are going to sew the lining to the yoke for each of them now. So right side to right side, I'll just secure with my pin and then I'll sew 0 0.5 this way. Top stitch and turn it. Let me do that. Now, I'm done sewing the V line, okay? So once I got to the center line, I raised my presser foot and I went this way. And I stitched at 0 0.5, okay? So make sure your stitches are at 0 0.5 and they are even. So I use my pin to secure them and I use my hemming gum as well. So this is my hemming gum. So by the time I turn and iron, it helps me lay my neckline perfectly. So I just come over to the center V line and I'll place a notch. This notch I place there is to enable the turning of this neckline. So I'll now go ahead and top stitch by flipping all my seams on the part of the uh, lining. Okay, so I'll do that this way. 
and run my stitches so let me quickly do that and iron so right now you can see i have my two necklines and i've turned them very neatly and top stitched as you can see so the next thing we'll be doing now is to match neckline or shoulder line to shoulder line so i just put in this one this way and i'm going to turn it i'm going to turn this way okay then I sew off at 0 0.5 so I'll do that for the two of the people so I'm done joining the necklines so this is what I have when I join the necklines so you can see the inside is neatly finished as you can see right here so the next thing I want to do will start up um, the gathering of the neckline so like we uh, earlier cuts this is the center front line so the V parts so I just separate it and do them separately for front and back so I'll just go over now I'm going to run my gather stitches so from this point I'm going to gather 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 okay so i'll just place my gather so i'll just find the midpoint from where i'll start gathering i'm going to find the midpoint of where i'll start off my gather from the shoulder line right here from the shoulder line i'll measure all i have that is the 13 and half of it is here so I'm going to gather now. So once I'm going to sew, I'll first of all sew the, okay? Because we've already joined this line. Please just go ahead and sew this uh, shoulder lines first, okay? So I'll place it right side to right side. Right side to right side, okay? So this is the center front. So I'll just go ahead and start from that shoulder seam line and close it up. So this is my shoulder seam line. So I'll close it up so it will be easy for us to gather into it. I'm done joining and you can see the large V line we are going to gather now. So this is the shoulder line to the sleeve line as you can see. To the sleeve line i also joined to the sleeve line as well so now what i have here on the shoulder seam this is the shoulder seam i'm going to match it up right side to right side okay i'm matching up right side to right side and i'll secure with my pin so i'll go back to the machine now to stitch all right so once you have pinned at the shoulder so we are going to mark out the midpoint. So this part I'm bringing now is the center front where we have the deep V line. So the first thing I'm going to do now is to measure that six inches we marked out as the midpoint. So that from this midpoint, I'll start to sew. But it all depends. It all depends. You can still go up by two inches from that midpoint and also start to it depends on how much fabric you have so I'm going to sew now our backstitch so I'm just using my hand to make the gathers okay because if I have to, once I've gotten to that point the next thing I'm going to do is to find the midpoint okay so the where you have the center front line can you see that I'm going to pin it down on the center front line of the next line so I'll secure with my pin. So the whole of this, that is what I'm going to gather into this line. So I'm going to distribute my gathers evenly. So I'll just use my discretion to gather, gather. So you can see how I'm gathering. So as I'm gathering now, I'm sewing at 0 0.5. So try and be distribute your gathers evenly so you have a nice finishing 
at the end of the day. So as you are gathering, you'll be checking what is remaining. Okay, so you can see me checking what is remaining, making sure I distribute this gather because I'm using my hands to gather. So if you are using a gathering food to gather, at least that will give you a better result. But well, since I'm not using it, I will just go ahead and gather. Can you see that? So whatever I do right here, that is what I'm going to do for the rest of the dress. So I'll just keep that ring. So once I get to the midline where I have my pin, make sure you also centralize it at the midline. Then I raise my presser foot. Turn this way. Okay, turn it this way. And from that point now, I will get the midpoint again from this. I will mark. Alright, so I raise my presser foot and turn to this point. So I've already marked my midpoint. So the next thing I will do is to pick up the, the shoulder seam line. Can you see where we stitched? I'll match it up with this shoulder seam line. And I'm going to secure with my pin. I'll keep pinning. Remember this part is straight. So if you have enough fabric, you can even gather not from the midpoint you can gather more as much as you can so i will pin till i get to this point so once i get to this point i will stop okay so this is the part i'm going to gather now I'll continue my gathering um as i'm using my hand to gather so if you're using your machine gathers so you can just go to the machine and gather this part i'm using my hand so this is the front i'm gathering and i'm going to repeat the same thing i did here i will repeat it for the back because it's the same method So into this point and continue to the back okay so like i said i'll just repeat the same process measure my six inches then i will sew once i get to this point for the back i will stop i'll find the midline that is the center front where we had the V. This is it. I'll pin it. And then like that, like that. This is the space I'm going to gather. I'll take my time. So that's how to go about this. Okay. All right. So you can see what I was talking about. So we've done gathering. And this is our gathers, as you can see. So we gathered right to the midpoint. So if you want your gathers to get somewhere here, okay, you can use five yards or five and a half yards. So by the time you place it the way we placed it, uh, when we cut this part, you have more gathers to it. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to close up the sides, okay? So I'm going to close up the sides. So this is the shoulder seam line. You can see it has been closed already. So we are going to close up the sides right now. Okay, people, so I'm done joining this dress right now. So you can see what we have. So on the sleeve line, I have to open up five inches on this part, okay, to pass my arm, as you can see. So I'll go ahead to, you know, hem this part all around. So if you actually need this sleeve longer, because this sleeve is at the elbow line, as you can see, if you need it somewhere at three quarter, 
please you need to get more fabric you can use five or five and a half yards instead of four and a half so by the time we take the gathered parts you will still have enough to get to your elbow okay so that is what it looks like back and front so thank you very much for coming to this tutorial if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day like this video share to family and friends drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well thank you once again see you in the next class bye